to go to Port Clinton soon. Tell me, tell us, why did you feet. paint your lawn a Trump sign? I'm just in support of the president. I think he's going through a lot of troubles and turmoils right now. And uh, a lot of a lot of people like myself out here supporting him. And to get the vax. I think pictures with the pole will get us to all relax. Not to put fun and dementia, it's a serious disease. But come on, man. J.R. Majewski is that guy that we just saw a little bit on there. His background with his uh, Trump inspired lawn and his hip hop dreams. Of coming true, uh, but he's abandoning all those because he's running for office uh, instead. So let's get into some details of what he's been up to and also who he is and what he's also done and how he's gotten to where he is now. So J.R. Majewski is an Air Force veteran who won the Republican primary for Ohio's new 9th Congressional District. And this was, uh, and he was also was a January 6th rally participant and has repeatedly shared pro QAnon material, including a video showing him painting his lawn to say Trump. Uh, to say Trump 2020 with Q replacing the zeros. It's just a coincidence, just a coincidence. Uh, also, Majewski emerged victorious. This is the big part in Tuesday's crowded Republican primary and will face off against long serving Democratic Representative Marcy Kaptur in the newly drawn district this November. He's making big moves, you guys. CNN's K file reviewed since deleted in public tweets that showed Majewski with a group of people who attended the January 6th, 21 Stop the Steal rally throughout the day in various places outside the Capitol. Including a video in which a member of the group leads them in repeating the slogan of QAnon. Majewski has denied being a QAnon follower, despite all of the evidence that would suggest that he is a QAnon follower. He did delete all those tweets, that's why they had to go and check them out in that way. But there was this <laughs> Photoshop, it's a masterpiece that he and his friends put put together of them as the founding fathers, because they're just that. Uh, important and the tweet was it's going down on one sixth because this has anything to do with that as well. And also one of his friends posted this video of all the uh, the beautiful things they went through in their trip to DC and the insurrection inspired love that they all shared. Let's check that out. All my buddies, we all get together. Uh, inspiring music there during their trip and also uh, labeling each person that's on the trip with you. First, last name, he works as an accountant. <laughs> this guy works with the city, this guy works at the bank. <laughs> Just tell everybody's business throughout your entire trip, Ray. Uh, did you put together one of these things when you took uh, when you took a trip to the insurrection? <laughs> it's so good, it's the best video I've ever seen in my life, it's so cute. <laughs> I We've always joked, like I feel like every time I'm on TYT program, it's something about the insurrection and someone documenting themselves doing crimes. Mm -hmm. But at least they did it in a fun way. It wasn't just like a live stream with poor camera quality. Uh, this is, right. they put together a, a video uh, diary, right? Like a, a script 
scrapbook, a video scrapbook of their time at oh. DC. It's just so cute. I love it Wheels so up. much. Also, the <laughs> fact that it, um, one, he's from Chicago, and I'm a little mad about that because that's where I'm from. Um, but but I love at the end they show he just takes a picture of cab fare to the airport. Like it's just for no reason includes it. That's something my mom would do in like a scrapbook. But my mom also would not have like a a criminal scrapbook, which is you know pretty damning evidence against. The yeah, people he's like who were Diane's there. never gonna believe this tab fair when we took to the big city in D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Well, um, but uh, I mean, look, we're laughing, but maybe he gets the last laugh because look, he just won the primary and he's up for uh, potentially winning a seat in Congress. Uh, that's the current Republican uh, voting base. That's who they are, uh, denying that they're QAnon folks after rapping on a video. I guarantee you'll have something negative to say about black folks and rapping at some point too. But everybody wants to be.